right now we're heading to the UFC 214 press conference. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the calm before the storm. Are you going up there in that thing? I need to ride over there with you. People behind are not even hawking. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get the day off. Make like John in DC go at each other's throat all day. I decided I'm stealing your brother from my entourage. Who's that, bro? Craig? <laughs> what do you thinking, bro? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. You got one. Uh, you got one. You got. You need a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you I got a couple. PC. Come on, guys. All oh, these homes. They feel salt like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Cocoa butter. 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 Finally, huh? Yeah, finally. I remember that time I fought in New York and you were there. And they're like, man, this kid's gonna be the shit. This guy. Uh, it was like before you like, like people really it, yeah. caught on to. Yeah. I remember She's when been in this forever, man. You fought the That's first awesome. time. What's the name? Guzmão. Andre Guzmão. Uh -huh. I was in the same car. I remember. Were you? Yeah, I was in the same Andre, car. Andre, dude, he was. I was yeah. so nervous yeah. to fight him, yeah. man. Get ready to go, John. First. Time. What's up? Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Good to be at a normal press conference again. I really identify myself as a champion, and and a champion without his belt, it's like a knight without a sword. I gotta have it. DC, the weight issues. Are there going to be any going into Friday? You got. I feel pretty good, but um, we'll bring a towel just in case. <laughs> You can forever say that you are the 206.2 pound champion hey, of the world. Hey, 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 listen, there you shouldn't be sitting up here right now for all the shit that you've done. How the fuck can you judge? You sit there with your fucking mouth shut before I walk over there and smack the shit out of you. Ooh, but well, we all know he won't do that, right? You're a bum. That's why you looked like a bum last time. How, how, how do I look, DC? Hey, all that, that's all just, hey, listen, that's all, that's all just for show. That's all just for show. Who, I don't who, care who about that. Who looks like a junkie here today? Hey, I look like a. I'm you look not, like I'm a not, crackhead hey. with a suit on. Was that? You look like a crackhead with a suit on. I could look like a crackhead with a suit on, but I've never been a crackhead like you though. <laughs> so you can say I look like one, but I've never been one. all around. And now, you saw that? I was just staring at him. Finally, he goes, you little what? shit. What? <laughs> he said, you little shit, before he walked off. I go, okay. I'm still gonna fuck you up. Um, the moment I feel like they're trying to play games with me, I'm gonna shit out of them on the national TV. When the dust was settled and the fight's over, do you think you'll be able to shake hands and congratulate whoever wins? Absolutely. I'm definitely, hey, I'm gonna shake his hand after I beat him. You know what? I, I feel bad for the way I handled the last fight. I was like, take your money back. You brought the wrong shirt. And then I gave him the suck it sign, right? And all that. No, no, no. You did. You did. I no, I love that. Gonna, you, I actually love that. Fashion. I love that he acted that way last time because that's more. Hey, it's motivation. So you you, not, you knock a guy time. down, you kick him while he's down. And it makes him work and train. I mean, yeah, we were still in the moment. We're still sweating and bleeding. Well, I wasn't bleeding. I think you were bleeding. It's just combat. There's no, there's no time for pity in combat. I, I love that. Okay. That made me train yeah, so much true? harder. I yeah, love it. I know, huh? The videos of you crying and all that. I don't, I don't, yeah. I really don't like this guy. So regardless of what happens, it's still going to be as it is. And uh, yeah, we should always kind of just steer clear of each other. Last couple of days been running. Try to get off those legs a little bit. Get a nice sauna, sweat. Without having to do no effort, great weight this morning. Feel good, I'm ready to go. I'm fighting soon again after I fought last time, so I didn't have eight, nine months in between fights. It's only been three, four, four months, so it's good. Not really nervous. I'm not really feeling much. I'm just uh, planning on going out there and doing what I do every time I fight, and that's just fight. Sempre treino lá 
capoeira na, no treino do cobrinha. E a gente teve a ideia de fazer uma coisa bacana, uma coisa que é do Brasil, uma coisa para descontrair, né, para todos os fãs e também aqui mostrar um pouquinho da cultura brasileira. What's up, Embedded? Joe. How's it going? Man? Everything good? Yeah. Right in here? Be what? I feel awesome. My waist is great. I was able to go out there. I mean, just feel real loose, real fluent. That's what we've been working on the entire training camp. Just having everything lined up for me. That's what it's been like. So you're fighting a different kind of specialist this time around. Yeah. How do you think this I I'm the specialist in MMA. That's the whole thing. I'm the best fucking fighter in the welterweight division. They're fighting the specialists. I just so happen to specialize in MMA. I, I want this platform so that I can inspire people, so I can motivate people, so people can see a young kid from Ferguson that came from shit. Yeah. That's my journey. That's my path. We are here at the open workout. I'm not going to be working out today because I just don't. You know, I've done enough work on camp. But I am going to sign autographs and take a bunch of pictures and just get to, to get one on one with all my supporters. I'm not going to do an open workout, but what I will do is shake hands and sign autographs for almost everybody. Just got to, to uh, hang out with a whole bunch of supporters, man, from all different ages and all different cities and countries. Um, everybody was so excited, so happy, man. The kids' faces lit up. Some of them looked like it was Christmas. And that makes me feel good right here, bro. At the end of the day, it's about the fans. And uh, I'm glad I get to give them a different experience than what well, maybe some of the other fighters gave them. So it was a good day, man. It was a real good day. Put your foot in the front seat, it don't matter. Could you please take us to Disneyland? Dad has to do something. Yeah. Hi, Mom, could you please take us to Disneyland? I'm going to get you a fruit. It's only 15 minutes away. Dad, could you please? <laughs> She's like, get out of my face. <laughs> hey, listen, this is a fight I can't win. This one? She's like, get out. Dude, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> So real good. You know, all things considered, you know? I'm about to go do this open workout. It feels good knowing that I'm prepared. And I've done everything right, you know, so. There's nothing else to uh, worry about. I'll sign 